It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright. So we're going to try for white bass, flathead, spotted bass, and buffalo. What? Oh, we don't need it. Got one! Spotted bass. Hey, it's a fish. Yep, spotted. All right, folks, my first fish of the day. Boy, he's cold. That water must be really cold. I can feel him. Little 10 incher. It's a start, though. Officially have three holes out on the bottom. Four ounce weights with red wigglers, and I took five of them on the hook on each one. White bass just weren't hitting the lures. I did catch the one spotted bass. Now I know the buffalo are up here because I reeled in a couple scales. So now we're trying for flatheads and buffalo, and hopefully not drum and gar. Just flatheads, channels, or buffalo. And once in a while, you can catch a white bass doing this. I have done it, especially in the Mississippi River, just, you know, warm out on the bottom, you can't catch a white bass once in a while. You're on the crank, mate. It's big. It's really big. It's got to be a white bass or a buffalo. Oh, my God, it's big. Oh, it's a drum. Ow. Oh. God. On the crankbait. It's a big one though. He's about four, about five or six pounds. Darn. Why the heck be a drum? Oh, he's a nice one though. I'll give him that. Boy. Of all the kinds it could be though. Guys, it had to be that. Oh boy, that water's cold. So I am back after my little frustration there. He kept splashing water in my face and wet sand. Still doing it actually, even though I got him way up here. It is a fairly decent drum. It's about the one size I caught out of the coal mine river last week. Because I'm making sure it wasn't a bite. The black coal it bent. Alright, we're gonna get him on. Yeah. Boy, he really had me fooled. I thought I had a big old bass, white bass, I mean. Getting there. Oh. There we go. All right, folks. First real fish, well, second fish of the day, besides the spotted bass. I'm going to say seven pounds drum on a bomber cartridge crankbait. Really had me fooled.
We're gonna get her back in, folks. It's a nice drum. I gotta admit, he put up a fight. There is something playing with that pole. Yeah, I gotta get him. You put the pliers in your coat pocket, yeah, something. Yeah. It's a nice drum though, I guess. At least he put up a fight and it was a big fish and it was something. I really want to fish with a worm up here and would not get hung. In that little calm spot. Well, if that would have just been a hybrid striper. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright folks, now we got a bite on the bottom here. Yeah. Here, take the camera off my head. to that calm area a hundred yards out there way out there really just messing around didn't think it, I'd be able to get anything because the current so swift and I got hooked into something and I think unfortunately you're gonna have to come over here because I'm crossed I think I crossed my line yeah you're gonna have to come over here never mind boy it's big I think it's a drum though the way it's fighting in that calm area way over there. Oh my goodness. Yep, it's another drum about seven pounds. My goodness, he's big though. It's real big. My goodness. On the crankbait again, way over there in that calm spot. I'm gonna cast back over there, I guess. Here. Jeez. Good. Oh, what a hoss. Whew. You know, I'm stupid. Put the pliers back over there. 
doubles. <laughs> Please don't be a girl. Anything. It feels like a small flathead. Actually, a decent flathead. So far, that's what it feels like. I could be wrong, but he's pulling straight down and kind of going to circle. He's failed. Yep, it's a flathead. It's feeling like, you know what? Um, Get on. And, uh, um, it's a buffalo. It's a hey, buffalo. I, I like buffalo. It's a big buffalo. Wait on my on the camera. All right, folks. Drum number two. This one's a little bigger than the first one. This one's ten or eleven pounds. It's easily ten, but I'm going to say eleven. I just heard a bell. And that first pole down there. The closest one to me. Start to pick up. I missed the buffalo. Got off one foot from the bank. Took the hook, but I got these both these fish pretty much back to back. He, I actually had to cross my other pole to get this guy. It's a big drum for a lure. Wow. I think it's starting to pick up a little bit, the action, huh? I think it's a drum though, or a buffalo, it's not a catfish. Hey, it's decent. Ah, it's feeling small now. It's not real big. It's not bad. It's a cat! Nice catfish. Big channel cat. No, it's a buffalo. I seen gray and it looked like a cat. Hey, it's not bad. He's six, seven, five, six pounds. Nice. Yeah, about six, seven pounds. Ooh. He took a beating there. All right, folks. He had me fooled. I seen gray, and I thought it was a channel for a second. It's just, uh, I think it's a smallmouth buffalo. Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad little guy. They've been real hard to hook today to set the hook. They just peck at it and peck at it. And when you go to pick up the pole, they're not there and they steal your bait. Come on, bud. All right, got it. I'm gonna wash them off, show you guys. Not a bad buffalo. About, it's about six pounds, maybe seven. Not bad. 
nice little buffalo. Been trying to get one all day. I had that one get off a foot from the bank. This is actually a black buffalo. So real hard to tell the difference. Shape of the head. It's got the lines underneath the lip, and that's about the only difference. Right, I'm gonna get her back in, I guess. What a beauty. Ah. <sighs> 